render time can be a pain in the butt, especially if you're using a lot of fancy materials or some kind of fancy texture or whatnot in Blender. Bump mapping can also do the same thing. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're taking a look at the denoising feature in Blender 279. So, uh, first things first, right now on the screen I have a scene that I rendered. It took uh, just a couple minutes, three minutes up here, as you can tell. Three minutes to render this. I think it's on like 200 samples or something like that, 100 samples. And as you can tell, when I scroll in here, you have all these really bright spots. All these bright spots of... Um, of light pretty much from the gloss and from the lamps that I have in the scene they're, they're creating these weird uh, this this weird noise so the way we can fix this really quickly without turning the sampling up to like 2000 and that still won't get rid of all of this the way we can fix that is we can go over to the um, to the scene tab and uh, and check denoising and downsize that real quick now when we do this as you can tell what I have right here is I have the radius on two the strength on one and the feature strength on one really quickly we can we can hit render on this again and what we'll do is actually I'll go to slot two. I'll go to slot two <laughs> and we'll hit render on this. And as you can tell, really, really quickly, you can see this will render with those little, those, those bright glossy spots, but it'll actually go back and it'll get rid of those. You'll see in a second that it'll actually denoise this entire image perfectly. And it'll look amazing. Just give it a couple seconds and it will start, uh, it'll start going here. As you can tell right there, it's, you see it, it's going through and denoising the, the piece this is already done. It's going in the, uh, the, little, uh, the little pattern there. As you can tell, these, these little dots right there, they're going away, vanishing as soon as those, um, those uh, boxes go right on top. There we go, right there. It'll render the first time for an initial render, and then it'll go back through and get rid of all of those dots. As you can see, it is going quite slow. But once you have that, it is a very, very, very clean render. It looks amazing. Um, it's super simple to do. It's taking pretty much the same time. Um, it's gonna it's just gonna take about two more minutes plus the minutes already been going so that's gonna be about three minutes once again it is clearing the entire image up as you can see if we wait a couple seconds this will all go away right here and it'll just go right over top of it and uh, without turning the sampling up at all just leaving it the way it is like I said I played around with a few of these settings with the radius of two and the strength and the feature strength but uh, other than that it is good to go the the denoising feature is absolutely amazing and um, and I definitely recommend this for your next big render with a lot of gloss, with a lot of lamps, and a lot of emission shaders. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something new today. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, bye.